Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. And at last, my long-awaited geeky Golden Girls cookbook has arrived. I'm so excited to look through this. I haven't peeked at all because I wanted to wait for you to see it with me. This is more than 90 delectable recipes from Blanche, Rose, Dorothy, and Sophia. It's by Christopher Styler with food photography by Andrew Scrivani. Nope, Scriven, Scrivani. I can't read it. Might have to whip out the glasses. You know what the heck? I'm probably as old as some of these ladies when they started filming this. So let's admit this time for the readers. Okay, let's check it out. Woo! Here's my bookmark. I bought this at Book Larder, Seattle's community cookbook store. I bought it online. Okay, it starts off the picture of the ladies I'm assuming on this set after wrapping an episode. Copyright 2020 ABC Studios, so it's authorized. Kingswell Publishers from Los Angeles and New York. Let's check out what, what we're going to have ahead of us. Recipes, breakfast and brunch, soups and salads, veggie sides. Oh, good, because I'm vegetarian. Pastas. And I'm immediately intrigued because my eye just got drawn to something called golden ca cauliflower trees. So is this going to be Floridian cooking, or is it going to be stuff that they mention on the show? Let's see what they say. One of the best parts of having friends is sharing a delicious meal and intimate conversation with your chosen family. Nobody does that better than the Golden Girls. Uh, they love gathering around their kitchen table to share stories, give advice, laugh, and of course eat. They're best known for noshing on copious amounts of cheesecake, who can blame them, and Sophia's incredible Italian meals. Each of the girls has their own recipes. Blanche's Southern Fried Chicken, Rose's Lingonberry Trifle, Dorothy's Caesar a la Zbornak. There's no end to the delectable dishes in Inspired by the Golden Girls. Farmstead omelet, cheesy grits casserole, linguine with clam sauce that came out of Sicily. You'll find tons of options for everyday meals, plus tasty party foods and, here's the best part, fun lanai ready cocktails. Woo! And of course there's the cheesecake because you should always have one of those in the fridge to pull out for a late night snack. Who can eat dairy late at night? Not me. Okay. So... Let's get started. Oh, I wasn't even done reading the contents yet. Mains, desserts, party foods and drinks, and cheesecake. I skipped ahead to the back of the book. Excuse me. Starts off with Dorothy. Where are you going? She asks. To either get ice cream or commit a felony, I'll decide in the car. Nice. Little character study of Dorothy. And we start off with granola. Nice, nice food photography. High quality cookbook, the paper feels good. Brooklyn Deli style whitefish salad. Caesar a la Zbornak. Uh oh, there's not a lot of food pictures. Dorothy's Guide to Packing a Workday Lunch. Okay, I need some more pictures. Okay, here's a picture. Yay, it looks pretty. Okay, what to do with all this? Here's menus Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. Fennel, orange, and feta salad. Okay. Jazzed up turkey meatloaf, warm white bean hummus and pita wedges. Simplest lemon herb chicken, another picture of Dorothy. Some directions. Chicken piccata. I'm not going to show you the whole book, don't worry. Are we getting into, did the other Golden Girls get featured too? Oh, check out the edge of the book. It's, um, <laughs> it's very tropical, ferny. Yes, how nice. Okay. Stir-fried broccoli sauce salad, orange honey glazed roasted Brussels sprouts, lemon basil cooler, with or without booze. Isn't that supposed to be at the end of the book? I don't know. Whole wheat oatmeal raisin cookies, berry almond shortcake, golden wisdom. Let the shortcakes cool before splitting and filling them, but don't wait till they're cold. They'll dry out and lose their fabulous crust quickly. Are we going to feature some of the other? No, nope, we're still on Dorothy. Mr. Ha Ha's New York style birthday mini cheesecake cupcakes. Those look good. And here's a bunch of quotes and funny humor with goofy illustrations. Finally, we're at the Rose chapter. Rose is my favorite character. I think I'm a little ditzy. It's like we say in St. Olaf, Christmas without fruitcake is like St. Sigmund's Day without the headless boy. What? Oh, jeez. Okay, so Rose is going to teach us how to make multigrain pancake mix. Farmstead omelet. That looks good. Bacon lettuce potato sandwiches. What? Scandinavian-style open face sandwiches. That's true. Nice little spread board from her. Horseradish cream sauce. Cheese puffs. Ooh, yum. I bet she mentions cheese puffs. Rotisserie chicken broth. 
Lindstrom surprise individual quick fix chicken pot pies. This is kind of seeming random. Okay, Swedish meatballs. Let's jump ahead. Let's jump ahead. Lingonberry trifle. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's see what the other is. Blanche going to be su cooking southern? I'm wondering. Here's Blanche. Uh, everything mango pineapple salad. I guess every chapter kind of starts with the salad. Cheesy grits casserole. Yum. That's getting southern. Okay. Shrimp. Okay. Uh, I guess when we get to Sophia, it'll all be Italian. Deviled eggs. Well, that's not southern. Blanche Devereaux fries some chicken. Well, this is definitely not going to be a boring cookbook to read through fully when I'm off camera and sitting down with a drink. Orange duck for two. Oh, of course it's for two. Honey bourbon glazed carrots. That sounds good. We're getting to another section. Ah, cheesecake. Cute illustration. Okay. Pecan pie. Pre-baked pie shell. We should all know how to do that by now, though. Mint julep ice cream. A slow gin fizz. Are we ever getting to Sophia? Aha! Sophia. Character profile, string beans and scrambled eggs doesn't seem very Italian. Why is that in the back of the book? I'm a little confused. Chunky minestrone. Uh, woo! Something that looks gross. Clams, excuse me. Spaghetti carbonara, yum. Speedy spadini. Linguini. Okay, so these are Italian recipes. Okay. Pork meatballs. So, gorgonzola mushrooms. It looks like all the drink and dessert recipes are folded into the chapter. So, when I looked through. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the party foods and drinks are under each character. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Totally. Well, now that I figured out that confusing part, this is pretty cool. Golden Girls Cookbook. Thanks for watching this cookbook look through. And to see more of them, you can follow us on your favorite social media platform because we're probably there. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, but not Twitter. Thanks for watching.